Well, here are some comparisons between the UpAir One 2.7K camera and the DJI Phantom 3 Professional camera. In my opinion, there's really no comparison. I bought the UpAir first, and you can see here uh, this uh, image flying over the fields out behind my home. Um, it's pretty. It's good to watch. It's uh, uh, fascinating if you've never seen FPV video. But the minute you get a chance to look at uh, the 4K video from the Phantom 3 Professional, or even any of the Phantom 3s, the, the gimbals are so much better on them. Um, the uh, Phantom 3 has a three-axis gimbal, where the Up Air only has a two-axis gimbal, and the quality of the gimbal components are noticeably better on the Phantom product. product. Shift back here to the Up Air again, point out a couple of difficulties. One is the two-axis gimbal doesn't have any um, stabilization in the yaw direction or rudder control. And as you can see there, when you when you exercise the rudder, it really moves a lot. There's jello that's uh, um, or a, kind of a bouncing in there from the vibration. The, uh, the vibration dampeners on the up air are not very good. Uh, you, it's noticeably better quality on the G DJI copter. So, but there's a difference. The DJI uh, in a refurbished one cost me about seven hundred dollars, and the uh, the up air cost me a little under three. So you get what you pay for. And that is especially obvious with the difference between the UpAir and the Phantom. Um, I, I'm using my UpAir for flight training, for um, visual flight training, but I, I really won't take any videos with it anymore. There's just no purpose in uh, going out and capturing videos of this quality. Uh, I am replacing the uh, the camera, the 2.7K camera, with an FPV camera on my uh, UpAir, just because it's good to have um, FPV um, a video of your flying. I found that without the camera, you have to strictly operate in line of sight or bring it home. And I like to be able to see. So we'll finish up here with a little DJI video. Enjoy the smoothness.